Hello, thank you for watching another Virtual Boat Show video showcase brought to you by Oyster Harbors Marine in Osterville. Today we're going to showcase the brand new 2012 44 Carbo hardtop with a tower and it has the uh, C12 18 Caterpillar diesels which will cruise this boat 32 knots. This Carbo is equipped with a mezzanine which is great for watching your baits and you have an overhead here which protects you from the sun also there's access to the engine room and we have a freezer here in the cockpit and many other items that we'd like to show you today we're going to show you the access to the engine room with the Caterpillar C18s these are 1015 uh, horsepower which will cruise this boat at an honest 32 knots all day long and you're probably going to burn in the neighborhood of 60 to 70 gallons an hour at that cruise speed and uh, you have an uh, oil change system down here you get all your Raycor filters you have your generator in a hush box for sound beautiful engine room all right, we'd like to show you a few of the options here in the, in the uh, cockpit this morning. Uh, one is a core here in the cockpit, insulated, nice large cooler. We also have a couple of uh, cooler boxes we'd like to show you, and some storage area. We have storage area here on the port side, and as we work back towards the starboard, we have, a, we have another cooler box we'd like to show you for your soft drinks. Also, over here on the starboard side, we have another one, small one here. Also, we have the uh, tackles, some of your tackle here, nice tackle clothes. And uh, best of all, we have a hot plate up here for cooking your fresh fish or your burgers, whatever you might want to cook. And you also have two large fish boxes here in the deck. With macerator pump outs, hold your fish. And after you have a transom, transom door, bring your fish in, as well as a live well in the transom. Good sized live well. And you, are, you do have two fish boxes on either side, port and starboard. And this is just the access down to the back part of the boat. You have your fuel tank here, which is made out of vinyl ester resin, as well as this hull on this boat is so solid fiberglass, also made of vinyl ester resin, which makes it uh, impervious to osmosis, blistering, and delamination which is a good thing. We'd like to show you the bridge deck here this morning with uh, we have uh, port and starboard uh, stid helm chairs as well as the captain's helm chair which are very very nice. Uh, you got an L-shaped lounge here for seating and also this bridge deck has a uh, teak deck which is nice underfoot and we have over here on the starboard side we have another tackle locker as well as refrigeration and a storage area. This bridge deck is uh, has air and heat, so pretty comfortable up here when you're offshore fishing. Uh, as I say, it's a very nice setup. Single level controls, there's Palm Beach pod system, and being a brand new boat, we do not have the electronics on the boat yet, but uh, it will be as a customer wants. We have a double berth here in the forward stateroom, island berth, 
walk around with uh, plenty of storage here on port and starboard side. Also, you have two hanging lockers, cedar line hanging lockers. Really large one here on the port side. And then we have another one on the starboard side. And this berth will lift up for dry storage. As well as we have lockers, uh, drawers here. More storage. In the head system on the boat, we have uh, two accesses one from the master stateroom forward directly into the head, so if you have guests on board, uh, you don't have to disturb them. And uh, we have a separate shower stall here in this boat. Very well appointed with the teak floor, as well as the uh, rest of the cabin is teak. And we do have access out to the salon area also from the head. We have a uh, second stateroom here on this Cabo 44 with uh, two nice buck affair. Uh, <clears throat> so you can sleep on this boat. You could easily sleep five people, maybe six, depending on how cozy everybody is. In the galley area here, we have uh, a refrigerator and a freezer, pull out type drawers, which are very nice. Also have a hot plate in the middle, and over in the corner there we've got a nice sink, sink area, as well as a microwave above the uh, hot plate with storage on both sides of the microwave, as well as storage underneath the uh, countertops here. Plenty of storage in this boat. Very well set up. We have a, uh, a very nice uh, L-shaped lounge area here for sitting, eating, uh, a very nice teak table, as well as uh, you have your TV over here on the starboard side, flat screen TV. And again, we have uh, ample storage underneath this uh, L-shaped lounge more storage area on the port side. Just about. All right, we have the two zone air conditioning units here. One for the bridge deck and one for the cabin. Also, we'd like to show you behind this uh, AC-DC panel, the wiring, uh, which is uh, all color coded as well as numbered. So if you ever have to trace a wire, it's uh, all right here for you. Very, very well done. Probably as close to aviation grade wiring that one would find in a boat today.